If you notice some unusual sounds coming from your front load washer, maybe you found that the drum is turning rather difficult, or you're missing a particular item of clothing and you have no idea where it disappeared to, chances are it's gotten caught somewhere inside your front load washer where it doesn't belong. In this video, we'll show you the most common areas where those items tend to get lodged and how to remove them safely. Now the most common items that get caught in a front load washer are typically coins, hardware like nails or screws or bobby pins. You may find small items of clothing such as infant socks, banking cards, and bra wires. These items are either small enough or shaped properly that they typically will get in the area between the door bellows and the inner basket. Once in that area, they can get trapped between the two tubs, the inner basket and the outer tub, or they may make their way down into the pump area where they can get caught in either the trap or filter, or they may work their way directly into the pump itself. We should remove these items as soon as possible before they cause irreparable damage to your washer. So based on the type of sound that they make, we'll dictate where we go looking to find those items. Now if we're getting a scraping sound when we rotate the drum slowly, and it has more of a metallic sound, we might suspect that we've either got a coin jammed in there somewhere, a small finish nail, or a bra wire, something metallic that has gotten between these two tubs. So the first thing we'll do is look in the area between the bellows and that inner basket, see if we can find something there. As well, we will look through all of the perforations. Just take a flashlight and look carefully through those or feel gently with your hands to see if you can feel anything protruding through those holes. If there is something in that inner basket that is poking out through one of those perforations, use caution when removing that so that we don't damage the outer tub. Typically a pair of needle nose pliers will allow us to pull that up through that opening. If not, we'll need to look at another method of taking it from the outside of that outer tub. So we'll start with the area between the bellows and the tub. And sure enough, we found a wire that has gotten caught in there. Now, when rotating the drum, you get a clicking sound. It seems quite rhythmic. Again, we would first inspect those perforations, but it's not really a scraping sound that you would expect for something that is being dragged across the outer drum. In this case, it sounds like something may be inside of one of the drum baffles. Sometimes that gap at the bottom is large enough that perhaps a coin or a pin or something like that may have gotten into them. Now typically these baffles are attached to the inner basket with spring clips that are a part of the actual inner basket itself. Some models will have a retaining screw and on those you would need to rotate that baffle to the top, remove the top of the washer and the inlet fill hose there to access that screw or do it from the bottom through the sump area. In most cases we'll simply pull back on that baffle. You may damage the baffle and need to replace it is the only condition there as the plastic tabs on the bottom of it may snap off due to the age of the baffle itself. With the baffle removed, we've discovered that we have a couple of coins in there that were the culprits making that noise. Now if we're getting more of a scuffing sound, we might suspect that we've gotten an article of clothing between the inner basket and the outer basket. Again, the first place we'll look is in that door bellows area, in that gap between the inner basket and where the bellows mounts to that outer tub. And sure enough, we found an item of clothing that has gotten trapped in there. To remove it. So in this particular model we do have a fill hose opening in the top of that outer tub so simply need to compress that and pull it out of that opening and then we'll rotate that drum to see if we can move that foreign object up into that area. And sure enough continue 
continue to rotate that drum to make sure that there's nothing else in that area. And then carefully reinstall the hose. Now if you're getting a loud noise coming from the bottom of your washer where the pump area is, you might suspect that we've got something caught in that pump. So we'll show you how to access the filter and remove that to check to see if there's something caught in that pump area. The noise from the pump sounds like there is something caught in there, so we'll need to access that to see if we can remove that. So with the front panel removed, we have access to our drain pump and the filter, and we're suspecting that we have something caught in there that's making that noise. So there will be some water in this area. We'll need to remove that trap first. Now with the filter removed, you can see that we have some items that are caught in that trap, which is exactly what it's meant to do. Now if we look inside of the body of that filter housing, we see something is caught in that hose and right into the inlet to the pump. So we'll probably need some needle nose pliers to remove that item. So we want to use caution, we don't want to damage the pump, and we also don't want to perforate that hose. Then carefully inspect that impeller through that opening, make sure there's no damage to that. If there is, you'll need to replace the pump. Just remember to install that trap and then carefully tighten it to make sure that we have no leaks. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that it was helpful to you. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.